Hi, I'm Carrie White here at ITSEC 2014 in Orlando, and I am here with Richard from Omnifinity. Richard, um, I see this awesome thing behind you. Tell me a little bit about the OmniDeck 6. Well, we try and really focus on trying to create natural movement in the virtual world. And so with us, this is the world premiere for the OmniDeck 6. Uh, and we are really, really focusing on with the Oculus Rift DK2 and unleashing its full capabilities. Uh, here, we're looking behind you. Uh, this is a geo-specific location. Uh, in Afghanistan and as you can see the soldier behind you he is doing everything he would do in normal life he's running he's crawling he's jumping and he's not kind of constrained to anything you, you know uh, the pilots uh, they get flight simulators you know they get all the toys and the special ops and the troops they don't get all these kind of toys and now we really want to take kind of infantry training to the next level so how many of these are there in the world at the moment, right now, we've got, a, we've got two in uh, research labs in Germany. They're actually doing space uh, uh, exploration with them. And we have an awful lot of kind of customers. With hardware, it's always difficult with the military. It always takes a longer time. Uh, so we hope within the next six months, we will be able to reveal exactly what we've been working on. So you told me earlier that a lot of time these are in domes where you can actually simulate the, the climate, the conditions, everything. Tell me about that. Well, unfortunately, we couldn't bring a dome with us today because otherwise everyone would just have to look through one window. But when you bring a dome around this, we, we can change. I mean, in, in Afghanistan in midday, it's really hot. At night, it's really cold. So in a dome, we can start messing with the temperature. We can bring it right the way down. We can bring it right the way up. At high altitude, we can start playing with the oxygen levels and really give that fully immersive feel to training. That's great. So what kind of advantage do you think this this provides to the uh, inf infantrymen that are using it? Well, training days for what, Green Beret training days, what, 150, 160 a year? Yeah. I think if this started being used on a regular basis, we could cut that by a third. Wow. Perfect. Well, Richard, thank you so much for taking the time to talk with me today. And for more footage, stay tuned to ITSEC TV.